the truck market is falling off a cliff. Ford lots are still overflowing with 2023 models. Chevy has discounts on every single one of these new 2024 models. Ram has huge discounts, up to 20% off of MSRP. And Toyota lots are overflowing with new Tundras. The truck market crash of 2024 has just started, and the market has already taken a massive dive. Dealers are hurting after a slow month of sales in January, and after all the price gouging from dealers the past few years, truck prices are finally starting to fall. This could be a huge win for buyers in 2024. I wanted to show you what kind of deals are out there on new trucks. So in this video, I'm going to Ram, Toyota, Ford, Nissan, RIP Titan, and Chevy to see what prices are like, how much inventory they have, and if there are any discounts that make buying a new truck right now actually worth it. I also bought a new truck, so if you stay to the end, you might actually see something really cool. All right, I'm starting off here at Ram because they've had the hardest time selling their trucks and their lots just seem to stay full a lot of times. They are selling, but very, very slowly. But they have some of the biggest discounts on full-size trucks that you'll pretty much see anywhere, except for these Ram TRXs. These are one, two, three, four. We got four 2024 model Ram TRXs all lined up here. We got this nice blue color. We got this pretty shiny orange um, that looks like a pretty new color. Obviously there's a uh, black and another black one. And there are some trucks here that are discounted, but not the Ram TRX. If you ever see a discount on a Ram TRX, there's gotta be an issue with it or something. But this pretty blue 2024 Ram TRX has some cool stuff. It's got a new active terrain dynamic system on it, which I think is pretty cool by Bill Stein. But every year the Ram TRX gets even more expensive. And this one uh, especially. Got a 2024 Ram TRX final edition, because this could be the final year that Ram does the TRX in the V8. There's a bunch of rumors rolling around that it's going to go to the Hurricane V6 twin turbo. So how much is this 2024? It's $125,265. And one of the salesmen that I've talked to a bunch of times here actually told me they're asking 10k over even though it's not on the sticker. Uh, if you walk in and talk to them, that's what they're going to mention. But enough about the TRX. We all know that's expensive. We all know those are always marked up. Someone eventually buys them. But let's go over here where there are some discounted trucks and see what's going on with that. All right, so we got a few full-size Ram trucks here that are up to 20% off on a discount. These have been here for a little bit, which is why they're discounted so heavily. This one here, actually, uh, I know this one was here about a month ago and it still has the up to 20% off MSRP on the sticker. And the diesel ones do sell a little bit slowly because a lot of the first generation eco diesels had problems with the motors just kind of grenading themselves. But the new 2024s, people don't realize that that diesel motor is a lot better. They fully rebuilt it from the ground up pretty much. If you want to save a lot of money on a Ram, grab one of these eco diesel trucks because they'll be a little more reliable than the older one and you'll save some money and get really, really good gas mileage. So we've got one, two, three, four here and let's look at the price of this one. This is a 2023 model. It's a Laramie Crew Cab 4x4. 74825 Again, with up to 20% off. So you'll knock a good chunk out of that. But let's go down this row and just see what we got back here and uh, see what the prices are on some of the 23s and some of the 24s. Here's something that's pretty rare to see uh, that I have never seen on any of the Ram lots so far. We've got a 3500 HD single cab, no back door, no extended cab, and the long box. So if you want to do some work, this uh, this could be the truck for you. It's pretty much the biggest one they make, but also the smallest at the same time, if that makes any sense. Let's see how much it is, though. Got a 2024 3500 Tradesman regular cab 4x4 long box. Base price of $51.7. And the, they've got a few other smaller options here, but the most expensive one is the 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel for almost $10,000 in the Uconnect screen for 815, bringing it to $67,320. I don't know about you, but I think uh, that is quite a lot of money for a two-door HD truck. Although this is rare, um, that's quite expensive for what you get because here's a 3,500 Ram with four doors. And I kind of have a little bit of sticker shock here. Um, I didn't expect it to be this much. This is a 2024 Bighorn long box for $83,320. I can see why Ram is having a hard time selling all these HD trucks. They're just so expensive for what you get. If you're using it for work, makes sense. Take the write off, do whatever. But uh, 
prices are still a little bit out of touch and uh the only discounts on these ram that you see here on the full-size trucks are about four thousand dollars off in manufacturer rebates and the dealer has a little bit off uh, on their end as well but let's check this price on a uh, lower trim level 1500 ram just to see where it's at and i want to see if it's a 2024 okay so it is a 2024 model so it looks like they are clearing the lots of 23s i got a 24 1500 crew cab 4x4 does have the v8 with the e-torque start stop total price of sixty three thousand two hundred and seventy dollars which is right in line with all of the other trucks with twin turbo v6s like ford or just their normally aspirated v8 engines that uh, you can get if you want but let's go down to toyota next and see if they have any discounts on some of their trucks because i heard they might not have much all right i made it to the great state of toyota where they are overflowing with tundras you got them going all the way down here to the entrance and then all the way down this row pretty much as far as the eye can see and that is a uh, really far back and i want to start with this one because it looks like a bit of a lower trim level tundra it is four-wheel drive it is an sr5 trim level it does have some nice seats and a decent sized screen but it doesn't have the one that takes up almost the whole dash front end black with no chrome but i actually prefer the black grill Let's see how much this is this is a 2024 tundra 4x4 in lunar rock sr5 double cab six and a half foot bed and the price is not too crazy actually msrp is fifty four thousand three hundred seventy nine dollars however once you get into the higher trim level trucks like this trd off-road prices get a little bit sketchy so we got a trd off-road trd wheels limited it is the larger cab um, the one over there is the smaller cab as you can see the back door is not as big, obviously. Let's see how much this one is. This is a 2024 Tundra 4x4 with Crew Max with a five and a half foot bed. And this is where the prices go up. And it'll run you $63,474. One thing that I'm noticing as I look in a couple of these stickers is I don't see any discounts on these in the window which you would think with all of these stacked up here one of toyota's or this dealership's number one priorities would be to show some sort of discount or that they're willing to make deals to get rid of these but right now it doesn't look like they are it looks like they're just going to hang on to these at full price until someone uh comes in and buys it this is an interesting trim level here this is actually a trd pro and i didn't think there was a trd pro here so uh let's see how much this is because it's probably going to be quite a bit so again this is a trd pro and they have this interesting kind of camo pattern print on the tailgate and the bumper here got the fender covers they've got the black over fenders that are the same print and they've got nice trd wheels with the black center cap and falcon wild peaks i love the trd pro grill i still think the grill is too big on this model i like the previous generation of this truck let's see how much this trd pro is it's actually the first one i've seen at this dealership um they don't come around too often let alone sit at the dealership and not sell so i'm actually surprised this is still here so this is a 2024 and it will cost you seventy three thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars so uh yeah that's a lot of money but at least it doesn't have all these uh droppings from birds in this tree up here the hood's at least clean on that one i think you get the point on the tundras they are getting up there in price all right i know we're here talking about toyotas but uh before i get back to the truck stuff let me show you something cool they have a gt500 mustang uh which is very hard to find in idaho so uh, i was actually surprised when i saw it sitting on the lot here in the corner this is in my opinion one of the best generations of mustangs and also one of my favorite mustangs has to be this gt500 and also the gt350 and gt350r and a little fun fact is i uh, actually had a gt350r and uh, it was all black it was fun i paid 55 grand for it uh should have kept it because now they're selling for like 80 so uh don't sell your special cars thought it was interesting that it was sitting here so this is a 2020 6,000 miles for $79,995. All right, back to uh, truck stuff because something interesting here is they have a row of used trucks and I think over here they have some used Tundras. So let's walk over here real quick and just see what uh, one of these used Tundras are priced at. All right, we've got this white SR5 Tundra. It is a 2023 model. It was $51,995, which is interesting because that brand new one over there was $54,000. Uh, and I'd just rather have the new one. But now, uh, it's probably been sitting a while, it's $47,2011. And it has 7,000 miles. So I did take a minute to talk to one of the sales guys that came up to me and asked him why there was no discount stickers in any of the 2024 trucks. And he told me that some of them are discounted, some of them aren't, but not many of them. You just have to go to the website and browse around and see which ones 
they have some specials on, but he said definitely not the uh, TRD Pro. Now there's one more thing I wanna show you before we get out of here and go over to Ford, because I know they still have a lot of 2023 sitting around. I found this 2020 Sequoia TRD Pro, and it's my favorite Toyota color. This army green color um, is really, really awesome. And I wanted to show you this real quick because the new TRD Pro Sequoias are like $95,000. Um, I think they're just under that, but every single one of them is marked up. And if you want to save some money on a nice Sequoia, especially a TRD Pro, you could snag this 2020 model. It has 40,000 miles and it's 53,995. So if you find a non-marked up new TRD Pro, it's gonna be like 85 grand. Uh, you could save some like 30 grand and just buy uh, the previous model. Now let's go see what's going on at Ford. All right, I made it to Ford, and what I'm seeing here is actually surprising me and uh, quite shocking. They not only have some of the hardest Ford vehicles that could not be found over the past couple years, they have these in stock, but they also have some pretty huge discounts on the 2023 F-150s that are laying around. So let me show you some cool things that I found, some discounts that they have going on, and uh, some pretty rare vehicles that you could actually get your hands on. All right, I know we're talking about trucks, but I got to start with something that was super rare, very hard to find, but I found some at a discount. They have three Ford Bronco Raptors all lined up in three different colors. We got the awesome orange color, which has to be my favorite. We've got a white one right here and a shiny silver one right here. And I know these are very expensive, but over the past year, they've been marked up like 10, 20 over, but not anymore. This 2023 Bronco Raptor in the beautiful orange color, MSRP is $95,705, but they're actually discounted for the first time that I've ever seen. You can get $2,000 off of a new Bronco Raptor, bringing it down to $93,705. Is that still expensive? Yes. But for a Bronco Raptor, that's the cheapest I've ever seen for a brand new one. But that's not the only thing on this lot that shocked me. They actually have one, two, three, four brand new 2024 Ford Mavericks on the lot. They all have different prices, different trim levels, and I just wanna show you what they're going for and if there's a discount on any of these because it's really rare to see not only one Ford Maverick on a Ford lot, but four brand new Mavericks. These things are usually gone in a second. This one is one of the higher trim levels. This is a trimmer package and it's gonna be kind of the most expensive one in this lineup. Unfortunately, the sticker is in the seat upside down. Uh, right there, folded in half. Uh, so I can't tell you how much this is, but it's probably over 40 grand, just a guess. This is a Lariat package in silver. I do like the brown leather interior. And let's see how much this Maverick is, because I know it's cheaper than the trimmer. This is actually a 2023 for $36,520. And I'm actually surprised there's a 2023 on the lot. But something interesting is if you look at this little discount, you can get 500 bucks off. So a little discount on a Maverick. Uh, which is not bad because they're hard to find. This one actually is a really good deal. We're getting down in price here to where the Maverick is becoming the affordable truck it's supposed to be. This is a 2024 XLT, 2.5 liter hybrid engine for 33,745. And on this one, there is actually no discount. So this sticker still says 33,745, but this white one is even cheaper. It's also an XLT, pretty much the same interior it looks like this is a 2024 hybrid and the price is thirty one thousand seven hundred and seventy five dollars so we're not dipping into the 20s but we're at least at the very very low 30s on this maverick and on this one there's no discount as well for 33,775. and i'm pretty sure they'll sell all of these probably within the next week or so because mavericks have been hard to find but you can find some here at Lithia Ford. Now let's go look at a couple of these F-150s real quick because I found a couple of deals and some discounts on those as well. We've got a silver F-150 STX 4x4. It's a 2023 with a 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6. Looks like it's listed at MSRP of $50,780, but there's a discount in the window. So it looks like this dealer is giving a $5,030 discount and then you get a factory rebate of $1,500 with a total discount of $6,530 bringing this to a more reasonable $44,250. I still think this is like a $38,000, $39,000 truck, but low 40s, not too shabby. 
for what we've been uh, experiencing in this market lately. Um, we got a bunch of other ones here, but I want to go look at a higher trim level. There's a trimmer over here I want to check the price on. And then we're off to a dealership that I didn't mention, but I want to check out the prices on their full size truck because they're killing it off. But we got a trimmer here and a trimmer here and uh, not a trimmer there. 2023, still in the 2023 EcoBoost V6, $74,255. And I don't think it is discounted because there's nothing in the window here. I don't even see a paper on the floorboard. This one also doesn't have a paper in the window. This trimmer does have a paper in the window. So let's check this one out real quick. 2023 as well. 73,455 and a discount of $3,860, bringing it to 69,595. So it looks like they have a couple trimmers here with a discount, not as big of a discount as that silver STX, which honestly, that's all the truck you need. You don't need a trimmer unless you just got deep pockets and want to have some fun. But let's check one more high trim level F-150. Well, I found the high trim levels, uh, but it's not what I expected. This entire row going all the way back there is Ford F-150 Lightnings that have pretty much sales have plummeted on. So I'm curious to see what the discount on these are gonna be. So we'll check out this one here. Uh, it's an XLT. 2023 XLT, 72,785. A discount from the dealer of $4,300 off, bringing it to 68.45. And there's a higher trim level Lariat right behind me. So let's check that out real quick. I'm just shocked. Look at, look at how many of these lightnings are on this road that is the most i've ever seen out of any dealership that's a lot but let's check out the lariat here also a 2023 super crew dual motor 74,885 1890 discount bring it to 72,995 so if you're in the market for a lightning <laughs> they've got a lot you can choose from but uh honestly it's not my favorite truck uh i say skip it now let's go to the secret dealership real quick that i didn't mention and then we'll go see what's up at chevy all right we're making a quick pit stop here at the nissan dealership one because i haven't been to nissan in quite a while and two the nissan titan you see behind me is pretty much dead this is the last year for it and I wanted to see what prices were like on these Titans and if they're trying to just sell them at retail or if they're just getting rid of them really quick with some discounts. So we've got a few here. We've got a couple right here. This is a Pro 4X, this red one. So I wanna check that out first. So we got a nice red Pro 4X with some general grabber tires and some pretty hardcore side steps. But the front end does look pretty decent. Again, it's not the best looking front end. Um, or entirely the best looking truck. Some of these look good lifted, but there's several reasons the Titan is kind of dead. But we're not gonna go into that. Let's see how much this red one is. It's a 2024 5.6 liter V8 Endurance Pro 4X four wheel drive, 400 horsepower V8 engine. You're looking at an MSRP of $65,625. And uh, there's no discount and they have a dealer add-on. They only put window tint on it, uh, which is not terrible. And they're charging $179 for that window tip, bringing it to $65,804. So the funny thing is some of the lower trim level F-150s are $65,000, but you can get a fully loaded V8 Pro 4X, which is one of the higher trim levels of the Titan for the same price of $65,000. Now they do have a platinum reserve four wheel drive. This is more of a luxury trim level Titan. You got uh, chrome here and some chrome on the side steps and shiny wheels. Also a 2024 V8 4x4 crew cab, platinum reserve, $69,420. $179 window tint and bringing it to $69,599. And that looks like $69,000, well, basically $70,000 is the highest price you're gonna get on these Titans. So if you want a good V8, four wheel drive, Pro 4 trim level, or limited, whatever your choice is. Maybe grab one of these Titans. I'm curious to see though, we have the this version that I've never heard of. It's the Midnight SV 4x4. And it looks like everything is blacked out on it, which I think is pretty cool. I even like the black wheels. Let me see how much it is. Still the V8 full wheel drive at $62,020 with the window tent, obviously. So that's not too bad. Looking at a Tundra, that's pretty cool. Now let's go to Chevy and GMC. 
I finally made it to Chevy and they have a couple things here that really caught me by surprise. Not only do they have more trucks than I've ever seen this lot have before, they actually have some trucks and trim levels that uh, have been pretty hard to find up until now. Starting with this Silverado right here, and it's more of a lower trim level, but it is four wheel drive and it is a 2024. This is a 2024 1500 Crew LT four wheel drive. It has the 5.3 liter Ecotec V8 engine and the MSRP is $57,120. But here's what caught me by surprise on this somewhat lower trim level LT. The MSRP is $59,115. However, there's a pretty significant discount. They're asking $52,865, which is $7,000 off the MSRP of a brand new 2024 model truck. And the funny thing is, usually there's no discounts on newer 2024 models. They're always just discounted on the old 23s, which is kind of a sign that things are just really slow right now. But there's another trim level that I found at this dealership as I walk across these rows, but especially this row here, because I found something really interesting. There's a dually, and I have yet to see a dually Chevy on any lot. This is a 3500 HD with the Duramax diesel and Allison transmission. It is a 2024 LTZ four-wheel drive 3500 with an MSRP of $83,175. There's a tiny discount. By the way, this hood is huge, and it's hard to reach the uh, camera over, but there's a $1,000 discount for $82,425. Um, that's actually less than a thousand, but if you need a dually, that is expensive, 83 grand for a big freaking dually. But let's look at a few of these here. And uh, also I'm actually curious what this one is running for because it's a Z71 off-road. It is a trail boss and I love the way these trucks look and these side steps always come in handy. Let's see the MSRP on a 24 Trail Boss. You're looking at $56,525. But there's also a huge discount on this one. The price is only $52,525. So it does look like Chevy is kind of the best deal around if you want a pretty sweet V8 four wheel drive truck for under 60 grand. Honestly, I would take this Z71 Trail Boss with the Duramax engine for $52,000 over any of the other Fords that I've seen. They also have a ZR2 right here and they have two different versions. This one is the Duramax diesel and this one is the 6.2 liter V8 engine. Everything else is pretty much the same, obviously, except one is white, one is black, but I wanna see what price difference there are depending on the engine you buy. So the one with the V8, the MSRP is $77,000 but the asking price is only 73,000. So again, that's discounted as well. So the V8 is 73,000 after discount. And the one with the Duramax diesel is actually cheaper than that one. MSRP is $74,860. And it's also discounted to only $70,860. Now I say only um, just because it's still expensive. And honestly, you know, this is a high country. This is pretty pricey too. Um, this is also a high country. I wasn't prepared for the MSRP of this high country. $89,925. Hey, but it's probably discounted. I wouldn't classify that as a discount. Still 89K, 89,175. So to be honest, what I was about to say before I saw these high countries is I think the best deal in this row of Chevy trucks is this guy right here, the diesel Z71 Trail Boss at 52,525. If you want a full size truck, that's probably the one I would get. But as you can see, but as you can see, some dealers have a lot of discounts. Other dealers like Toyota, they don't really have any discounts. You have to kind of dig to find the uh, deals. Chevy seems to have the best discounts only because the MSRP is slightly lower on a better trim level than the F-150. So basically it's kind of a toss up on this one between Chevy and Ford as far as what you're looking for price-wise. If you wanna go off the rails, you could grab that Nissan Titan that I showed you and uh, be a little bit more unique. Looks like you made it to the end of the video and I promised you I would show you the truck that I just bought. Now we all know new prices are out of control, so I'm not gonna buy a brand new truck and that's why I just bought this 2002 Toyota Tundra that I paid $10,500 for. And over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be dumping a few thousand dollars into some mods that I think will make it just as good, if not better, than some of those $65,000 plus new trucks that you see today. If you wanna keep up with all the videos in the cheap V8 truck series, or if you just wanna see any of my other videos where I talk about cars, the car market, and just do a lot of fun stuff in general, uh, we're definitely gonna hoon this truck a little bit on some off-roading possibly even jump it with some of the things I have planned for the mods. Make sure you subscribe, 
hit like on this video. But that's gonna be it for the truck market update this month. Looks like you can get some great deals if you dig around. And I also heard interest rates have been coming down recently, so I would check into that. And some of these dealers also have super low interest rates if you finance through like GM Financial, Ford Finance, Toyota Finance, et cetera, et cetera, where it makes these new trucks more affordable than they have been in a couple of years. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna keep up with market updates. Make sure you subscribe, hit like on this button so more people can see it, and I'll see you in the next video.